In this video, I'm going to be talking about Adalo versus Glide Apps. So first of all, what is Adalo? Adalo is a platform where you can create apps really quickly. And also you can have some advanced components already built in for Adalo. Now, what is Glide Apps? Glide Apps is a platform where you can build an app from a Google Sheet in five minutes for free. So what are the differences? Why would I go one or the other? Well, first of all, I would like to say I love Adalo for their templates and also just their components to get started really quickly. Their templates, they cover a lot of different popular, different styles of apps, similar to Product Hunt, Facebook, blogs, etc. I like to start here and their uh, different blocks that you can have when you're building. Just it's really easy to start building. I love it. Right. And if I'm looking at the kits again, it, it just the functionality keeps getting better and better. And so that's why I like a dollar. OK, so what about if we look at Glide? First of all, I like how their Glide community, um, they're pretty ridiculous. I like everyone there. Um, it, just a lot of things. If I'm trying to build certain apps, I find the community and especially their community on Twitter really impressive. So I just wanted to say that even if I don't have the right template or buying something in their marketplace, I can find a lot of inspiration in their Glide community. So to get started, I would just like to say if you already have a background or like using Google Sheets or prefer that over Airtable, Glide, again, there's a lot of benefits of starting with Glide. Let's talk about the functionality and a few things of looking at their templates. I would say, well, number one, they just have more templates than Adalo. So if I'm trying to get started or there's something that I'm trying to do, I, I just like looking through all of the different templates people have made with Glide. And so this allows me to see the framework of what it could be like. So if I just pick like mobile store, I'm taken to the template right here. And some are paid, some are free. And I like how simple it is for me to preview, see what it's like. I can copy for free or I can preview the template. That allows me to build a lot of my ideas quickly before I commit to one template or another. And again, you have all of that right here. So this is Glide. Now, what will I say about capacity? And what would I use if it was going to be Adalo or Glide. This really comes down to functionality and what you're trying to do. So I would write down what is your app? What are you trying to do? What are the capacity? No, not even the capacity. What are the functionality that you need? The user is going to be able to do this and write out the user journey, how they're going to interact with the app. What will you need? And then that allows you to anchor and make a decision over Adalo or uh, Glide. What I mean by that is sometimes the functionality that's required just might not be a good fit for Glide and it'll be for Adalo or vice versa. So let's go with uh, Glide for a moment. Let's look at the pricing and let's look at what it has. Automatically for free, I can get 500 data rows, okay, a thousand sheet updates, public sign in, I like that, 10% transaction fees, Glide branding, okay, and then the Glide app.io domain. So if I'm at $12 a month, Still at 5% transaction fee. Okay, let's show some more. Okay, 50 signatures, 500 Zapier actions. Okay, so it depends. You already have a lot of people that are gonna be using this or can I start low because I don't have a lot of people that I need. Let's see, if I'm doing something with a map, keep in mind that the Pro app, a thousand pins per map, that doesn't come until $30, $32 per month. Okay. No glide branding, 10 gigabyte file storage. Okay, so we, we have a couple of the functionality right here. All right, so if we go over to Adalo, we're gonna go over to pricing. So pricing to get started, okay. We can start for free, that's great. Limited to 50 rows of data per app, 50 rows. Uh, 500 for free for a personal but again it depends on what you're trying to do five gigs of data of storage 
where's the five gigs? So it'd be in between. So it's two, uh, two gigs for 12. They have 10 for 32, five for 50, okay. One per seat, 200 business plan for published to Apple and Google stores, it's 200 a month. Published to a custom domain, okay, I'm checking back. Even the $50 one is published to Apple and Google stores, okay. So if I'm looking at this, this is, now I'm doing pricing, now I'm looking at all of those things. Now what I'm going to look is the, the, the features really get into this. Okay. So right here, it now allows me to see the components, the actions and the database. Also, I'd like to say their database and how they have the user think about which database is best for them. Really interesting and really helpful for you to think about. The drag and drop, drop components, it's dropping, it, it's showing you what it's being able to do. And also you can integrate it with third party integrations as well. You can go into their uh, documentations to show what they, what they have possible, but just keep that in mind. Also set up dynamic actions. They have all of these things. Zapier again, uh, Glide and Adalo have that. But right here, linking pages, push notifications, login permissions, create and update data, easy and create contact your database, API integration, connect your apps. So again, what I would do is, and then also to custom formulas. So you can have uh, simple or complex equations, especially ones that are trying to create calculators or calculations or estimations for their audience. That's a huge one that you can have in there too. Yeah, there's, so again, for me, I'm gonna look at the functionality, the pricing and what I'm looking to do. And then I'm also looking at what's happening in Glide, what am I able to do? Now, again, what I would also do for me personally, for me to understand if Glide can do something I'm looking for, I just look at their templates and see if someone's done something similar that I'm looking for. This is, I mean, this helps you out a lot. And if I'm interested in something and it's something a little bit more advanced, there's tons of templates that range from, you know, 50 to 100 or something around that price range very reasonable to get started even quicker. So what I would do is I wouldn't necessarily for this time, say we, like one is better than the other, look at your use case, what you're looking to do. And also too, I'm always looking at how fast can I build in a platform to get me my results. And then am I in the stage of validating and I'm just doing this as a side project, see what happens? Or am I looking at something like to scale and I want to build into the platform longevity? I've seen platforms on Glide do very well and they work around it. When they need to add things, they, they look at integrations, all those things. If I'm looking for a concise way of scaling and I'm looking at where would I like to go, I'd probably lean towards the dollar. But again, it depends on your, your case study, what you're trying to do. So what I would do is, let me know what you're thinking in the comment section down below. If there's one or the other, or what functionality, what kind of app are you trying to build? And let me know. Also too, if you want me to do other versus videos of Adalo versus like backend list or any other apps, let me know and I'll make it uh, in the upcoming weeks or months. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, make sure that you like and subscribe and you in the, uh, you make sure in the comment section let me know what you're looking for so again thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video